Hi guys! Today let's look at how to grow bananas from a banana flower. The flower is a pendulum shape. It forms below the last bunch of unripe bananas. After cutting, remove the leaves from around the stem. Then cut two aloe vera leaves for our fertilizer mix. Aloe gel is rich in nutrients, enzymes, and antioxidants. It helps to boost plants' resilience to stress and disease. First, finely slice the aloe leaves. Then add sliced onion and mix together. When blended with soil, it creates organic, nutrient-rich fertilizer, which in turn helps plants to remain healthy and strong. Whilst mixing together, loosen and break up soil clumps. Next, fill the potting tub. Make sure to use a large, good draining pot. Then press out a hollow in readiness for planting. Come on, buddy. We've got to prepare the flower now. First, slice on an angle to remove the end of the stem. Then slice through the middle of an aloe leaf. Saturate the cut end with aloe gel. This will provide antifungal and antiviral properties. Now, mix raw egg into the base of the hollow. Eggs are rich in protein and other micronutrients. It will boost nutrients within the soil. After planting, water the soil and flower. Here's a great recycling method for plastic bottles. We'll use this as a lid to increase the humidity around the plant. Banana plants are native to hot and humid parts of the world. If the air is too dry, the leaves will turn brown. After 40 days, check to make sure that leaves have sprouted.
remove any debris from the soil. Then repot in a larger container. Here's a tip. Soak the soil with water for easier removal of the plant. Once removed, clean off any excess soil, then spray to clean the roots. Did you know a banana tree isn't actually a tree? To qualify as a tree, a plant must contain wood. The trunk of a banana plant is made of tightly packed leaf material. Okay, before repotting, gently loosen the roots apart. This encourages them to spread and grow. At this stage, the flower can be removed. Simply twist and gently pull. This time, we're going to use a soil layer system. First, Add a layer of soil. Then a blanket of sand to improve drainage and aeration. Next, finish with choir. Coir is lightweight and porous. It allows air, nutrients, and water to pass through. Finally, spray the plant and leaves with water. These plants require large amounts of water. A ways ensure the soil stays moist but not soggy. Overwatering can cause root rot. Take a look at our banana plant after 12 months. remove debris and dead leaves. This will encourage new growth at the top of the plant. It will also minimize pest and disease problems. Mist the leaves with water to prevent dry tips and edges. A note to remember is that bananas need to be harvested before ripe. If they stay on too long, they'll split down the seam. That's why bananas from the store are still green and hard. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.